In Ben TK's Cambodia video, he does an awesome transition like this. Aiden Robbins recently put out a tutorial on how to do it in Premiere Pro, but today I'm going to be showing you how to do it in Final Cut Pro. As you might be able to tell, I'm actually on my gimbal right now, and to make this shot look better, you're gonna wanna use some type of stabilization. You could do it with your hands, but that'd be a little bit harder. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna show it on this painting my sister did, and I'll get into the shot right now. Now let's back to editing. All right, so this is gonna be a little bit more of an extensive tutorial. But I know some of you will be able to handle it. So let's get into it. These two clips don't really make sense together, but it's all I have at the moment. And it works for an example. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your masks tab on in your effects folder. Drag that down. And I'm going to go down here and just draw four things right outside here. Then I'm going to go frame by frame right to where I need to it to be. I'm going to go to transforms, going to keyframe all these, and I'm going to keyframe central control points because those are all going to be moving. And then you go frame by frame with your, your arrow keys just to get everything in there and track along the painting or your subject. All right, and that is all I'm going to do for this one. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is select that clip, Command C to copy it, paste it, drag this clip over it, and then select one or the other, it doesn't really matter, and invert that mask. So now you got this. It looks, it all looks the same. So here comes the more tricky part. I'm gonna select this clip, drag it underneath it, and then I'm gonna drag this down to 25%. I'm gonna have this one out of frame, but I'm gonna have it centered. Then when I want it to s right here, I'm gonna drag that down. Then I'm gonna go frame by frame and just drag it along the side, or the center, until I want it all to fall. So I say right about here is a good place. I'm gonna slide it down to the center. So it'll look, it'll look like this. So then, when you do that, I'm just gonna add a slam sound effect. I'm gonna go into here, sound effects, slam. Wait for them to load. Drag this down to where it slams. Doom, all right, be like right here. All right, so that looks pretty, pretty gnarly. <laughs> and I'm just gonna add some music to it. All right, and that is how you do that tutorial. I know it is pretty hard, but you can do this. Uh, if you just put your time to it, you can figure it out. So yeah, if you liked this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Uh, check out our other tutorials. Um, share this with a friend if you wanna help the channel, that would help a lot. So yeah, uh, see you next time. See you tomorrow.